first, the second law of thermodynamics. It says the universe is running down. It's running out of usable energy. As time goes on, the amount of energy in the universe is decreasing. All scientists know that one day that sun up there is going to burn out. There's only so many hydrogen atoms in it. Now, two weeks ago, it was so cold here, I thought it did burn out. I don't know if you remember that. But no, it's still burning up there. Now you say, well, how does this show the universe had a beginning? That because the sun's going to burn out, how, how does that show the universe had a beginning? Well, let's look at it this way. Suppose I had took a flashlight, and I turned the flashlight on and put it on this little table right here, and uh, tomorrow we were to come back in the room. We left it turned on overnight. What would be the strength of the beam coming out of the flashlight tomorrow? It'd be very weak if not dead. Why? Because there's only so much juice in those batteries, right? Well, you can think of the universe as having batteries. And if we turned on the universe an infinitely long time ago, would we have any juice in the universe right now? Just like if we turned on the flashlight an infinitely long time ago, would there be any light coming out of there right now? No. So if there is still light coming from the sun, then it must have been created a finite amount of time ago. Because if it had been turned on an infinitely long time ago, we wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't have any sun. This shows the universe had a beginning. If it had a beginning, it had a beginner. Second law of thermodynamics is also the law of disorder. Things go to disorder rather than order. Things don't tend to get more ordered as time goes on. They get less ordered. As I'm standing on the stage right here, I'm looking down, and I can see that there are cut marks in the paint. There are scratches in the paint. Why? Second law of thermodynamics. We wear things out. It's why you've got to replace this carpet. It's why you have to paint these walls. It's why you've got to put gas in your car. Second law of thermodynamics even affects us personally. When we get older, the second law of thermodynamics affects us. It gives us dresser disease. That's when our chest falls into our drawers. It'll happen. Watch out. Not now, but later. Now, if the second law of thermodynamics, some of you will never get that one. Don't give me that groans over there, OK? If Christianity is true, Paul says, Romans chapter 8, the creation is in bondage to decay. 